I love these unique cases, right? And, and this is going to happen a lot, especially when you start to take enforcement actions. These infringers and counterfeiters will realize what the game is. And what the game is, they know that they can't use certain keywords in order for search purposes. So they're going to stop using it altogether. But the images might be still up or they might Photoshop the images in any certain way. So there's two ways you can go about this. And it's, it's very manual if you do this on your own, but you have to use multiple keywords and you almost have to create a funnel approach where you're using several hundred keywords to search for your product to describe it. It could be, let's say it's a sneaker, right? You want to search white canvas shoe. You want to search it in different languages like Zapato, right? You want to be able to search it in leather sneak in these terms. Now, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have to funnel through those results to see if anything is one of your products, which can be very time consuming. Um, you know, providers like us do have certain features that are out there. While we search with all of these non-pinpointed search key terms, we apply image recognition towards these photos to show which one is actually one of your products. And there's levels of thresholds with image recognition where you can say, bring me a 100% match or a 90% match or 80% match. I always recommend not to have a one for 100% match because in the event, they Photoshop it anyway by adding a WhatsApp number, which is very common, rubbing the logo out, adding some different customization on the top right-hand corner. They might have uh, someone modeling it for some reason or any alterations that they do, it will still be captured out of technology. But when you start to get in these sorts of cases, there's going to be a level of detection that you're going to have to go through, which is more just on the first level of it. You're really going to have to deep, go deep down inside and use those non-pinpointed key search terms for your category.